What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Derek Knight here. Coach Knight, 8-7. Check it out. So it's Sunday. It's game day for me. This is the window to my house. It is frozen. That's my dog. Tank, stay for a second. Stay. See that? It's like minus 20 outside. Yeah, and I still got a football game. Now, don't get it twisted. Playing touch football isn't like playing tackle football. It's a completely different animal to run a slant, playing touch football or flag football in comparison to playing tackle. Like, it sucked. It sucked running a 10-yard or a 6-yard stop, having a guy sit at 10, then come downhill and try to clean your clock. It sucked being able to run a slant into a guy that's 240 pounds and I'm 140, and he's trying to run me over. So it, it just takes a different mentality to be able to play tackle football for any experience, any extended period of time, especially when you're getting into the college and professional levels, it's painful. But uh, today's game day for me, and I'm not, I'm not sad. I'm retired. I don't feel like a wuss or nothing like that. <laughs> Running in snow, minus twenty degrees outside. You play in places like Edmonton, like The Rock, as Dwayne Johnson did. Couple other guys played in the CFL. I have my pregame meal already. I got two eggs, some bread, and we have half to my dog. I have my oatmeal, blueberries, raspberries, some flaxseed. What I did, all I do is put a whole. This is half. This is half what I had. That half for my dog. But it was just a hole in the middle of bread. Crack an egg, put it in, put it on the frying pan. Boom, pregame. Carbohydrates and protein. That's six grams of protein per egg. So I got. Maybe, what, six? What's half of six? Three. So nine grams of protein in that, plus 15 grams of protein in my oatmeal concoction thing that I make. Yeah, let me give you a quick little look. Check it out. About a half cup of flaxseed. How much protein is in there? Seven grams of protein per third, for quarter cup. I usually put about a half cup. So I get around, what, what is that, 14 grams of protein? Just check the oatmeal. 14 grams of protein. Protein! Here we go, we got four, and I usually put around two, uh, a full cup of oatmeal. And per third cup, it's four grams. So you do the math, four times three is 12. So 12 grams of protein plus 14 grams of protein plus another 12 grams of protein. That's my morning. That's my breakfast. That's my pregame meal. I'm excited for today. The game's in about 10, 30, 10, 40. I got to leave soon. I got to walk this thing. Get my hand-eye coordination. Warm up for the Frisbee. Where's the Frisbee, Tank? Where's the Frisbee? Give. Go get it. Get your Frisbee, bud. We'll go for a walk. Where's the Frisbee? Give. Smashed his face off the wall right there. You okay, Pop? Where's the frisbee, buddy? I pack up my gear. I think I'm messing again today. Good thing as always. What's that? Get your frisbee. Give frisbee. Good boy. Come on, smart guy. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. He knows where, he knows where his leash is too, but this is hanging up. He ain't stupid. He'll fall on his head. Got the cleats. These are I wear for indoor cleats. I wear soccer cleats from Germany. These are Pumas. Gotta have fast feet. Run nasty routes. Nasty, nasty, nasty. And I don't get ready for my day. I'm not gonna show you guys a medicine thing again. That's nasty as hell. I'm looking forward to some of the challenges of the day. Maybe I'll get a chance to talk to some of the strength coaches I got who I play with. I'm trying to get this thing rolling. I'm trying to improve athletics and more fun for people because you know what if you live a life of stress you live a life of hardship and you don't do what you love for a living you're gonna die quicker and me i'm already an asthmatic so i'm gonna die quicker anyways so i might as well have some fun live my life and do what i can to help you through the process so you don't end up like me sick and not being able to breathe it's no fun it's no fun having asthma but it's lots of fun being able to play football live a life of health and fitness understand what to eat and how to eat and why you gotta eat what you eat. Don't make it confusing for yourself. Eat earth foods. Avoid Monsanto's. Avoid pigs and cows 
that have been locked in a cage their whole life. But if you're going to eat that, still be thankful. Check out some water studies and what it means to be thankful and grateful for some of the stuff that you got in your life. Right? Freeze water or change the shape. That's another story another time. I'm not going to bore you guys with my nerd lifestyle on top of my athletic lifestyle. Y'all be good and I'll be seeing you in a little bit. I'm going to get on this medication thing right now. Help save my life. What's your excuse? Tell me your excuses for not being an athlete, for not having fun with your life, and I got to take this stupid shit every day. That's enough. I'm out of here. I'll talk to you guys when I get to the damn field. So I'm going to join coach tonight. We just finished our, uh, what is our fourth game of the season? No, victory. Uh, what was it? 30, 33. What was it? 30, oh, 39 to 26. I think I just scored in the last play of the game. I don't think we really cared at that point. But yeah, right now I'm just heading home. It's minus 20 damn degrees outside. And it feels good to be able to get up and get some exercise in, even though it's so damn cold. Which is for different reasons, which I'm not going to get into right now in terms of what's happening around us, why it's so cold. But yeah, it feels good to win, man. We have a good team. I saw some old friends who I haven't seen in a while. Uh, I caught a couple speed outs today. Man, and I don't like I don't like when opponents try and talk smack in, in a rec in a rec sport game. You know, we're playing rec sports. You want everyone to be safe. We all got work. We all got things we got to do. So no one's trying to get hurt. And it's just funny how competitive people try to be verbally. Which, if you're talking shit, and you're playing contact sports. That's fine because you get to, you, know, you gotta make yourself a little crazy. But if you're playing rec sports and you're talking shit. You're obviously weaker in other areas. It means it means you're trying to make up for some deficiency when you're trying to talk smack. Especially when you're losing by three touchdowns. I don't know what you're doing by talking shit. And when your own team says that you talk too much shit and you're garbage, it means you just probably talk stop talking shit. Burlington Green Spartans, man. Undefeated thus far. That's all I work to do. I think next week we play at one o'clock, I don't know against who or where. I'm gonna get home right now, I'm just driving. Check it out. Thank you to Players Paradise for allowing us to play uh, in your field. I'm gonna go. <coughs> Excuse me. Y'all be safe. Best wishes and good health, everyone. Take care. So I'm about to end my day here with uh, a little a little workout. Probably last for an hour, a little arm workout. Bice, bicep, triceps, and some deltoid work. Hopefully I get all three parts of the deltoid. But yeah, little, stat, little stats for the day. I uh, had a touchdown today, another touchdown. Um, I had a drop. I dropped the pass today. I should have had it. It was on a quick out. Um, I had a drop today. I got beat on a couple patterns when I got thrown in on D. Um, and that, that was a little frustrating, too. Uh, my touchdown, I had a bunch of catches on speed outs and quick motions. Um, but yeah, this is, this is what I do for, well, I guess this is part of what I do for a living, part of my marketing, is that, you know, I get to meet and hang out with a lot of good football people, a lot of great athletes, a, a lot of high-level personal trainers, strength coaches, nutritionists, uh, a, a whole wide variety of people. Um, so it's uh, a good way to keep myself social, keep having fun, to keep networking, promote the brand, and a lot of people that see... The results of the way that I train. I don't you know, train to be a bodybuilder. I don't train to be, you know, look a certain way. I have athletic ability, and I train to progress that. I train to be fast. I train to be explosive. I train to be focused when I have to be focused. And, uh, again, I don't like people to talk shit to me. Like, if you're going to talk shit to me, it better be in a, in a, in a setting where I actually hate being talked shit to personally. But it's not that. I think that's part of sports, right? People want to beak in your ear, and, and the thing is you can't ever let it bother you. Uh, just show them on the scoreboard and keep doing your thing. Keep doing your job. It's like anyone says in business or media or anywhere else. You know, don't let people talk you out of what you're good at. Stay focused. Stay positive. Stay engaged. And just do your job the best of your ability. So when, I, <laughs> when guys want to get up in my grill about nonsense... I said, I said, I'm not looking for, I'm not looking for a fight. But when you start kicking people, you're a piece of garbage. And I'm just saying that. Yeah, man, Burlington, Burlington Green Spartans. I don't want to get confused with the Red Legendary Spartans, but the Burlington Green Spartans. Uh, another win, 
another win. Um, we had some huge plays and some other receivers today. And uh, we're turning into quite the offense. Uh, maybe I'll take a picture of a text message that, a couple of text messages that I got sent from our owner and uh, pop that on there just for some reinforcement to you guys about what we're good at and why we're good at it. Thanks all for paying attention. I know some of this stuff may not seem like it's very relevant. Believe me, it is. Again, I'm a, I'm a brand. Myself and what I do, it's a brand. I, I love being a good athlete. I love teaching the sport of football. I love playing the sport of football, especially Canadian football, and it's great. Anyways, this is Coach Knight. I'm out. Best wishes and good health, everyone.